Where do you see yourself in five years? <rire> Ten years. <rire> Je hais cette question, <rire> même pour les RH. Hey, my name is Sarah, I'm 23 years old, I'm Moroccan and I'm a control and embedded systems engineer for Renault Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance. So, since I was young, I was good at math and physics, so I chose the path of engineering because I wanted to create things and do a lot of innovative stuff. You can see that engineering takes part in a lot of domains. You have automotives, you have aeronautics, a lot of in medical too. So it's good like to be have um, an impact in the world in more creative things. I did um, an engineering school in France and my, my background was in electrical engineering and automatic control. My major was automatic control and embedded systems and to graduate for my master's degree I had to come to USA to do an internship. Why did you choose to come to USA specifically for your internship? It was first like to see the business um, work and ethics here in USA it's much more diff different than in Europe and in Africa so I wanted like to discover their way of working they're they are more innovative and creative in their way of working the second thing I wanted to practice more my English and to meet more with different nationalities and so it could help me later on in my career I learned a lot of things, especially here in Silicon Valley. I had the opportunity to see a lot of demos and to assist to a lot of conferences. So I saw a lot of um, tech news and a lot of sharp tech technologies that we're not used to see every day. So that helped me a lot, um, especially in the domain of artificial intelligence and machine learning. and. Uh, all that is re related with autonomous cars and everything. So it opened my mind to a lot of new technologies. I think like employers nowadays are looking for profiles that can like speak multiple languages, that can deal with a lot of cultures. When you have clients from all over the world, it's good to know their culture and to know how to speak with them and their way of doing business. So I think this will help me when going back to Morocco to my first job. Yeah, being technical it's good, but you have to have the business and the cultural background to deal with the clients and everything. Yeah. I think in this domain of engineering, it's much more difficult like to have the engineering school at first we had to do like a two years preparatory classes and they take an exam which was like international it was between france africa and lebanon and it's so hard you have to be uh, top ranked to access to engineering school it was so hard a lot of work but with perseverance and hard work i think it was fine <laughs> The cliche that bothers me the most is a lot of like men, when they see that you are a female and engineer, they think sometimes that you are less intelligent than them. So they say, oh yeah, you know how to code. Oh, that's impressive. It's like there is, um, it's said in their mind that normally females don't know how to code or how to deal with computer stuff. So they take it like you are less smart than them and that's not right. The other thing, and this is a little bit funny, is that they think that females engineers are ugly sometimes because they are, are like doing technical stuff. It's a man domain. So if you do it, you're not, uh, you're not good, you're ugly, and you're like a man, you're not girly. And this is not, not true. We can like, it's like a fact that there's not a lot of women in engineering. Maybe because girls, since they are young, they are not taught to do technical and engineering stuff. 
they're more likely to go with arts or like something different. Maybe it's from yeah their background and their culture. People don't encourage girls to do like more technical and go to engineering path and career. But since like engineering school, you get used to being sometimes the only woman in the in the room. So it's not you get used to it like during the time. It's not different. But it feels empowering when you see that you're doing stuff and it's good and there's not a lot of people doing it and a lot of female doing it. But it was good in, in my work. Uh, people were respective, there were not like cliches or something, sexism between girls or guys. I don't think that HRs like choose more guys over girls, but I think the problem is in engineering school you don't find a lot of girls. So there's a problem, you don't have a lot of candidates, girls, as like you find it in male candidates. So maybe this is a problem. We should encourage more girls like to do engineering and do technical jobs. And how do you think we can do that? I think um, we should like go to schools and encourage girls like to do hackathons or like be more interested in maths and physics and doing stuff. We should, yeah, a lot of hackathons maybe they will help them or like competitions. It, it would help or give them like talks and to see that engineering is good and it's a good career to pursue. So I would say to girls, if you if you think that you are good in maths and physics and you enjoy it, you feel like you love this stuff, it's your passion, go for it and don't think about if it is a man's word or a female word. If you love it, just do it and it will work. <laughs>